I was sitting and wondering what I was going to podcast about today because, I don't know, I was just sitting and wondering. And I said, you know what, how this happens is I go through my week and I'm, I'm working, 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 and then I, I really start getting stuff done about Thursday. And then, then I, 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 I barrel down and I get stuff, and I'm into my Friday. And then Saturday comes, and somewhere in there, I, I have to take a day off because that's just biblical. And then Sunday hits, and I, I hit the ground running, and I'm working, 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 and I'm finally getting everything all the... And see, in that process, I'm all geeked and excited and, and ex- just want to turn on the microphone and podcast about something, but I can't because I'm in the middle of working and getting stuff done. Just go to jesse.house and see uh, what those things can be. Uh, so I was sitting here asking myself, so what, what, what were we geeked about earlier this past week on uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday that, that, we, that we needed to talk about? And it was personality disorders. Uh, as, as you can see uh, right here on my paper uh, that, that makes it seem like I'm <coughs> organized. You know, I, I don't know, George, did I talk about this last week? Now you're supposed to know this stuff. All right, well, but put it, but the topic of personality disorders keeps coming up and coming up and coming up. Last night, I was out walking around and I say hi to this kid. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm old. So everyone seems like a kid to me. And I get to talking with this kid. I find out that his father died. He ran away from home and lived in an orphanage. He quit college. He's working, making better money than average in his country. And his mother's in an insane asylum. And he's 20. Um, his English is kind of okay. Like, he can't speak very well. He doesn't understand all the words and syntax, but I could speak well enough to fool Google Translate into translating into Chinese correctly, and he understood what I was saying. Now, that's pretty impressive, uh, given the kid's background. And I sat there, and I tried to explain to him, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, a, it's a, you know, you can make a difference. I tried to explain to this, to this kid. Um... Personality disorders. You know, he, this guy's got a mother, and 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 I, you know, I I, I don't want to go into details of telling someone, you know, other people's business. I'll just say that it, it came up in conversation, and and this young man has a deep, strong understanding that no one can help his mother. Accept his mother. Uh, that's E C E X E. However you spell it, I can type it and write it. But I, I, you know, I don't dictate spelling. The only person who can help his mother is his mother. Now I've, I've just, I've just been thinking and considering and reviewing and reflecting the value of just knowing what a complex is and what a personality disorder is, it's almost like, like, wait a minute, that, that, that's me. You know, like, that's, I, I do that. And this is why in, in a lot of articles about personality disorders and complexes, uh, uh, what, is, what a complex is, a, 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 um, it's, a, it's a group, it's a little cluster of, um, uh, what do they call it, emotions, memories, perceptions, and wishes of the personal subconscious organized around a common theme. And, you know, it's, it's like the little hopeful childhood pain and dreams that someone develops into, and it is their identity. And they have to be that at all times. And, you know, one of them is the father complex, that specifically a father complex is the father who always has to be uber loving and tender towards his children, lavishing far too much on them. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the number of them, the Napoleonic complex is, is the leader who loves theater and everyone loving him and just doesn't know when to quit. And they're, they're just, they're, they're, there are there are so many, I mean, a psychologist technically can just up and invent a complex on the spot. There's not a, a list of them. Personality disorders, that's the thing where no matter what, the person can never change, never prove, never improve, never grow, never move forward, never adapt, never, never accept the truth, never concede a point even to survive. That's the personality disorder. And whenever you read about these and what they are, it always comes up. Now, no, 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 this isn't everybody. Now, everybody can do this once in a while. But the people that get diagnosed with it, they're the ones that do it persistently all the time like clockwork. And so that, that statement shows up when you're studying these things from time to time because we all do them. So studying crazy kind of helps me rein in my tendency to be crazy, you know? And I just, I, I look at this and I say, you know, so I, a friend, uh, uh, just yesterday, like I, earlier in the day, uh, calls me and, 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 and thinks that he's the next Jesus Christ. And I said, um, well, uh, really, uh, what's, um, what's it, what's it like, uh, to, to try to make wooden furniture uh, 2,000 years ago with, without much technology. What, what, what kind of tools uh, would you, would you, and he's, so that, that was an interesting conversation and we got into the book of Enoch and we got into how do we know something uh, is in the Bible or not, which, you know, I, I suppose I could, I could touch on, but he, he said, I don't want to be crazy. He said, I, I need to make sure that I'm not crazy. I said, well, everybody thinks that he's either the Christ or the Antichrist for at least five minutes at some point in his life. If, if you've never worried about whether you could be some sort of embodiment of Jesus or, or either that or the next Antichrist, uh, if you've never worried about it, then you might not have a conscience. So I said, that's perfectly normal. But, you know, his big question was, I don't want to be crazy. I said, well as long as you're worried about not being crazy, you're probably going to be okay. So I just, I'm sort of coming to the idea in, in my own personal life, sharing where I'm at in the vision that I'm, I'm coming to. I'm sort of thinking that just talking a little bit about crazy, uh, just, you know, reviewing what other people have had to say. Now, I'm not an expert, but just talking a little bit about what personality disorders are, at least what experts say they are, just shedding light on it all. <clears throat> Pardon my French. I, I, I just, I think that could be helpful to society. Oh, oh, how do you know the Bible's real? Oh, um, well, 5-2 uh, Bible, five, number 5-2 Bible.com, 52 Bible.com. And also, if you go to watchstandpray.com, it's all like one word, watchstandpray.com slash 365. I think before number 10, there's a good uh, Bible. You know, the Bible changes so much in history. It's got so many documents. I mean, it, 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 verifying, confirming what it is. It's, it's, that's a, you know, I could, I could probably get into that at another time. But, you know, right now, <clears throat> it's time for me to get to my point. Take time out of your business to travel, sit, and talk face-to-face -face with people. Cancel important things. Cut your business profits. Axe. Hack. Chop off something you are doing that needs to be done. Make the sacrifice that won't kill you so that other people can encounter you in the flesh. Sometimes it is rejuvenating and your own work list actually gets more items checked off after a personal encounter. You need that encounter as much as other people do. Some face-to-face -face time helps relationships because it's the right thing to do, costing everyone less time in the end. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.